Hey everybody, I'm Chris Wook, inviting you to join me for a look back at the past seven days in the world of Android. This is the Android Authority Weekly for June 2nd, 2013. There were a few things officially announced this week that we all knew were coming, and one of those was the white Nexus 4. We've been hearing about it since November, but now it's actually in the wild and available in the Play Store. Surprise, surprise, it's exactly the same as the black Nexus 4 when it comes to the specs and build. It's just, well, white. On AndroidAuthority.com, a commenter named William wondered why there was so much discussion about a new coat of paint for a fairly old phone. Fair point, moving on. While nothing is concrete, we have heard a few more rumors this week surrounding the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Note 3. First, we heard that the Note 3's camera might have optical image stabilization. This would be a big step up from the software image stabilization used in its predecessor, the Galaxy Note 2. The very next day, we reported on a different rumor that the Note 3 might come with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor under the hood. Considering how quick the Snapdragon 600 is, and the fact that bigger numbers are always better, this could be very cool. Of course, people were torn in the comments on whether they'd rather see a Snapdragon 800 or an Exynos Octa-Core in the Note 3. Me? I just want to see it hold up in a drop test better than the Note 2 did. Now, of course, the ETA is still September for the Note 3, so we've got a while to wait. Try to stay patient. While the wording was less than clear, a comment made by an LG executive made it look fairly likely that the next Nexus wouldn't be coming from LG. Now, a later comment from LG indicated that they aren't currently working on a Nexus 5, but they wouldn't necessarily turn the opportunity down. Okay, seems clear enough. Except that later in the week, we heard a rumor that Larry Page himself had seen a prototype for a new Nexus from, you guessed it, LG. Now, all these stories and rumors led to a lot of discussion about who we'd all rather see make the next Nexus. Who would you prefer? I'm thinking HP? It seems that we've been talking about the X-Phone for quite a while now, with no real details on it, so it was a bit of a surprise when Motorola confirmed both its existence and its name, the Moto X, at the D11 conference. Motorola's Dennis Woodside even went so far as to say that he had it in his pocket, but couldn't show it to anyone. Really? Come on. Then, just because Motorola went on to show off some really interesting things like digital tattoos and a slightly scary pill that turns you into your own password. Okay. Supposedly, the Moto X is coming out this summer and should be fairly cheap. That's cool, but you're still not forgiven for that whole pocket thing, Dennis. Do you like the look of the Samsung Galaxy S4, but wish it was smaller and performed more like an S2? Really? Somebody said yes? Well, good for you, because that's what the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini is shaping up to be. Okay, it should be smaller and faster and lighter, and it does have a larger battery and more RAM. And look-wise, it's got that S4 style, if you're into that kind of thing. Basically, it looks like it's going to be a solid, stylish, mid-range phone, because I guess Samsung doesn't have enough of those already. Google continues to update its core suite of apps, and this week, it was Gmail that saw the overhaul. Both the Android app and the web app now have automatic sorting options and an updated look that puts them more in line with Google+, Google Now, and the new Hangouts. Color coding is also included now, though it's much more noticeable in the Android app than the web version. Of course, a lot of people can't experience this in person as Google is slowly rolling out the changes over the next few weeks. While you can force the update by changing your inbox settings in the web client, you'll just have to be patient and wait for the update in Android app. Our final story this week comes from the yes, we already knew that department. Basically, as soon as the Galaxy S4 Google Edition, also known as the Nexus User Experience, was released, rumors were rampant that the HTC One would be getting the same treatment. Now, it's official. Now, the hardware is exactly the same as the stock HTC One inside and out with one major change. Instead of HTC Sense 5, it will run pure, unadulterated Android 4.2.2. Like the Galaxy S4, it will be available unlocked from the Google Play Store, and it even ships on the same day, June 26th. Now, almost immediately, the comments turn to discussions of somebody buying an unlocked HTC One, rooting it, and putting on an HTC Sense ROM. 
Stop giving them ideas. Anyway, that's it for this week, folks. If you look down in the description, you'll find a link to an article, and there we've collected all the links mentioned in this video and more. We will be back next week, same time, same place, different host. And meanwhile, if you want to stay caught up with everything we do, make sure to subscribe to our channel. I'm Chris Wook for Android Authority, and as always, thank you for watching.